Uh, so interesting. What happens today? Today you have the house vote pass, so first show is moving. Uh, does all do they all run or do they pull back and then they go up later? We'll see. Uh, 121 on first show. Let me go find Miguel here. Uh, don't see him yet. Okay. He'll be here in a few minutes. Okay. If anybody else wants to come on here and chat with us, this is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. Right? Uh, then we see, then we see Tesla. They split, I believe, what is the split date? Is it the 25th? Uh, split date. Uh, hold on a second. Split date. Ready is August 24th, which is next week, not this week. It looks like it's next Wednesday. Okay. Uh, so next Wednesday. So let's see where it can go. Can it get going and, and rip through this 909, 916, 922? Three numbers there, right? And once they get going, we can go a long way. We can go a long way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Very interesting, very interesting, the action. SPX just moving up. And every day people tell us nothing is great. And I'm telling you, nothing is great. They're, they're correct. But it's better than it was. It's better than it was. When Micron announced the first drop, Lamb Research was at 381 that day. Remember, 381. It's at 500. So now it's got 150 points of up. Oh, that it's already ran, okay? Does it go up? Does it go down? Don't know. Chill, 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 chill. Then we see, then we see, then we see, okay? Uh, the three big boys, watch the three big boys on, of tech. Snow, N-O-W, uh, hold on a sec. Wait, not here. Uh, Snow, N-O-W, and uh, MDB. Those are the three big boys, okay? MDB, if it gets running, it runs all the tax, okay? If snow gets going, it really takes off and it's a long way up, okay? But remember what happened last Thursday. NOW hit 521 and it dropped 20. MDB hit 380, 380, I mean 390, and it dropped 20. And snow hit 180 and it dropped 20. These all dropped 20 and it didn't take long. It took... Less than a quarter, you know, a quarter of the day. So two hours, two hours, okay? Interesting, 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 okay? Uh, Amazon down, Google down, Google trying to break up. Finally, Google trying to break up. Does, does it go? I don't know, I don't know, okay? Interesting, 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 okay. Uh, chips, 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 chips. If the chips are strong, the market can't go down. Okay, if the chips are strong. They're not strong today. They're just average. They're average. But ASML is down, you know, 10 points. So that means these are more in the, in, in the wait and see. All the chips, NVIDIA, Lamb Research, Avago, ASML, uh, Texas Instruments, Qualcomm, AMD, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, PANW, P-A-N-W, still right there. Look at this. It can't get through. Every time it gets here, it drops 20, every single time, okay? So wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. So today, very, very straightforward. Not, not a huge news day. China lowered rates. How about that? China lowered rates, okay? But the news day today is, is the, the bill that passed helps for solar, helps end phase. Does it go? I don't know. It's been struggling right at the 301, 302. This ISUN is moving, so all, all the solar stocks are good for the next 10 years. This is huge. The whole world is going this way. You know, you may, may like or not like First Solar. That's okay. You don't need to. But in, in 10 years, the stock is going to at least triple. It's going to triple in 10 years. 10 years is a long time, okay? Why? Because solar in 10 years will be everywhere. It'll be everywhere. And just wait till the other countries start doing solar bills. Okay? Interesting, interesting. So today, watch the three techs, the big boys of techs. Well, we already started recording. Uh, okay, good morning, uh, 8.50. Okay. 
Uh, the the three big boys of tech, MDB, Snow, and Now. If they all go in tandem, they have to go in tandem, and they go fast, then the techs will run. SPX is down 21, uh, and let it go down. We don't care. It's at 42.80. Think about that. It was 42.70s were a dollar with an hour and a half to go, and I said, wow, 15 points up a dollar, and boom, they moved 25. Move 25. The market is beating up shorts because here's the thing. People are buying 50 and 80 points lower on S SPX, but it's not breaking. It's not breaking. And, and here's the thing. If you go buy a call, 25 points up, a dollar or two dollars for half a day, and it, it doesn't get there, you lose two dollars. If you buy a put after it drops, say it drops 10 points or 15 points, He's charging you nine or ten, and you lose nine or ten. He's suckering you into all these plays. Okay, so so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, let me go see Miguel. Not here. He might have an issue. Okay. Uh, Omen not here yet either. Okay. Okay. So SPX down twenty one. That puts it at uh. 42.59, you got 42.52, 42.52, uh, and you got uh, 42.21. Upside, 4,300, 43.03, 4,300, 43.03. Now, here's the thing. So there's some people on TV, very interesting. I, this, 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 this stuff amazes me. This, this, this stuff should amaze you. This guy comes out and he goes, if 42.30 breaks, I'll have to reevaluate everything and change my mind. This is a guy that's saying he expected to see 3,300. Okay, really, really supposedly a million sharp guy comes on TV on Fast Money, and, and they asked him, what do you think, what do you think? And he says, that we're going to go way low, way low. He says he's going to reanalyze it. So then when it breaks 43 or 42.30, he reanalyzes and says, oh, we're going to go way low. You know why? Because he's in love. He fell in love with the stuff he got. Or he's down so much money, he's just going to stick with it and pray. He's going to pray. He's going to pray. Okay? Now, I know a little bit about praying. Because when Dak has the ball, and he's running up the middle, I'm praying. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so know this. Know this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, NVIDIA trying to break up again, 192. This is where it was. This is where it was when they warned. Still got five, six points. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Underneath 169. CMG finally breaking up. It's moving 30, 40 points. Every time it goes down, it pops back up. So we'll just wait for a 30, 40 point down, and then we'll go buy back up. Land Research, uh... Pretty strong last week. You got 521, 532, 541 is a breakup. Underneath 481 is bad. ASML is down today. Okay? So keep an eye on 481. Avago, 561, 569. ASML, 551, 532. Needs 602 to be better. Pan W, 532. 532, 532. Okay? Uh, Boeing doing nothing, 172. Uh, Carvana on the screen, just in case there's a squeeze. Keep an eye on the 60s. If you can get them for 10 cents, we wait. And you wait all week for 10 cents. Okay? Uh, Deer down six. I don't know if there's any news on Deer. It's down six. Uh, so that's going to take some of the stuff down the food. Uh, it could be because oil is cratering. Okay? Uh, we'll get to oil here in a few minutes. Okay? So Deer, uh, 361, 355. Needs to take out 372. I think this can get 400 on earnings. Okay. Uh, coin, uh, 84, 81. Needs to get through 92. Amazon, 145, 146. 146. Think about it. At 150, 150 at a 20, if you times it by 20, get you back to 3,000, right? Get you back to 3,000. Uh, Google, 127. Sure looks like it's finally trying to break up. Uh, MDB, 
391. Very simple. 391. Snow. Very simple. 176 starts it, but 182 explodes it. NOW, it dropped 20 off of 521. So 521, huge number now. Tesla, 309, 316, 322, 352. Does it run? Does it run? ENPH, 303, 311. 311 can spike it. And first solar up a little bit. It was up more. Uh, is that 119 down a little bit? Just chill and wait, chill and wait. Uh, Bitcoin slowly moving up all over 25, 2,500, okay? Now let's go to oil. Oil is cratering. Oil is cratering. It's a big move on oil. It's, it's at 87. That's bullish. That's monster bullish SPX. But we're down. SPX is down. Isn't that interesting? But the Dixie is up. The dollar is up. As the dollar goes forward, just know this. This is the headwind. And I don't know if you guys understand headwind. So let's say Apple sells iPhones and, and, and gets paid in EU, in euros, right? Let's say they sell it for 1,000 euros. When they convert it back to dollars, now they got to pay. I mean, they, get, they pay more euros to convert to dollars. So that means they get less dollars. So, if, and so let's just make this up. Let's say they get $950 when they're converting the years, 1,000 euros. That means you lost money. You didn't lose money, but you got less. Because the euro used to be at 130. It used to be 130. So they pay you in euros. You convert it. So let's say you just paid, uh, you, you make 30% on the conversion. See, you don't get that anymore. So that, that's what they're calling the headwind. And all these people that are multinationals, that means you're, you're in many countries, you're converting back to dollar, and a strong dollar hurts your numbers. Okay? So then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay. So that's what we know. That's what we know. Uh, last thing, watch Tesla. Let's see if it can go. Let's see if it go. Everybody have a great trade. They see each